The National Eagle Center in Wabasha, Minnesota stands next to the river, from which across the river you can see a plethora of bald eagles perched or swooping like a gaggle of bats in a family reunion. As a younger man, I once saw a bald eagle beset in a stray current of wind. Its wings were stretching opposite directions, hugging the curve of our great planet. It was so monstrous in its size and moving so fast through the air. My younger mind mistook it for a pterodactyl or some mythological beast come to snatch us humans up and take us back to its nest to eat. The National Eagle Center in Wabasha, Minnesota showcases five eagles, all having incurred some life-altering injury, no longer permitting them to fly. Columbia, fractured her right shoulder in a car accident, was also found to have lead poisoning. Harriet, also fractured a wing and had to have it amputated. Donald. They found Donald the Eagle as a fledgling in Florida in 2006. He was born with a tumor over his left eye. Surgically cutting the tumor from his face, it rendered Donald blind in his left eye. So naturally, they worry that his depth perception will surely be his demise. So if Donald were to use the wings he were born with and fly, he could die in a crash landing. The broken birds sit perched on foot-tall stands extending from the ground. Children press as close as they can to the rope barriers, watching the broken wing ground destitute eagles fish minnows out of buckets in front of them. There is no hunt for them anymore. Dinner is served. God bless the National Eagle Center in Wabasha, Minnesota. But Donald wants nothing of it. The bucket of minnow splashes in front of him while his back is turned to it and the children. He's watching. He's looking. His one eyeball is scanning and surveying the window, the window between him and the river, the river beneath the flight party of bald egos, free to take off and land as they please. It is clear Donald would rather risk his life to do the one thing he was born to do, fly, than to sit in a well-furnished prison with a view. He knows that he is the only able-bodied organism in the building with functional wings that's still able to fly. He still has a painting. until he swivels his head towards the audience. And he's looking at me. His one eye is peering into my shallow and curious soul. Hey, he says. You looking at me, I say? Yeah, if they would just take this simple leather strap off my leg, I'd show them and their armchair environmentalist agenda, I can do this. You look out that window and you see a river trees on the other side of it. But tell me, have you seen the wind? Have you seen leaves flicker and flutter like the wings of a butterfly while still slave to the branch? Have you seen ancient families of towering trees sway and acquiesce for acres? Have you seen the dirt lift off the ground to dance, dash, and dance again? You humans are so funny. You guys are always going somewhere, always studying something, but you're never enjoying it. Did you know that every plant and every animal on this planet longs to be swept up in the glory of the wind. Every cell and every fiber longs to fly, longs to be free. Yet the best that your country's fiscal taxes can muster is a foot-tall pipe to perch upon with the view of what could be through a thick piece of glass. Tucson, you gotta help me, man. You gotta get me out of here. Please. I take a moment because, shit, I didn't expect to be having this conversation here. So I look back at him, look him in his eye, and I tell him, Donald, I wish I could, but I can't. And I am so sorry about that. It is clear. Donald is living evidence the greatest risk we take is by taking no action at all. It's clear that Donald takes a minutia of satisfaction in watching his brothers and sisters freedom through a piece of glass. And it's clear I've been standing and staring at Donald for an obscene and perhaps perverse amount of time. A staff member accosted me and broke me out of my hypnosis with the bird. She leaned in and said, you know, sometimes we take the birds outside on leashes. When the wind kicks up, Donald will spread his wings a little bit. Maybe even fly a little. Fucking A right he would, I told her. I'm surprised he hasn't snapped this leash and bust through that window by now. <laughs>